I'm Chris and this is my big display project. And here's the display. It's about three feet across. It's 128 pixels by 96 pixels and it's made from six of these bad boys. These grids from Adafruit and this is the big ones, the six millimeter pitch displays. And the displays have these magnetic standoff posts the frame is made from wood with metal braces and these metal braces catch the standoff posts and let you line up the grids perfectly like that behind there there's a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and to drive the display this is the Hinner Zeller board and you can order these from Osh Park. You can see all the links in my repo in the uh, information below. Added a USB sound card and USB powered speakers and a couple of uh, USB game pads. And of course, a nice diffusion sheet of plastic from Tap Plastics. Covers that up nicely. So in 1982, Datasoft released a couple of versions of this game. There was Dung Beetles for the Apple II by Bob Bishop and Megabug, and that's the one that I played by Steve Bjork, and he wrote a lot of things for the color computer. And um, the resolution of this display, 128 by 96, is exactly the resolution of the original Megabug for the Coco. I'm going to call my game Poo Bugs. Why not, right? Dung Beetles, Megabug. And this is a demo screen, the mouth moving at random and no collision detection so it can run into the bugs. Um, you're eating the, the dots and you're leaving a trail behind and the bugs pick up on that trail and try to follow you and eat you. So you try to eat the dots without the bugs touching you. And then back to the splash screen. Gameplay very similar except there's a timer you get 10 points for each dot that you eat and once a second you lose a point so that's your incentive for moving quickly and this is what it looks like when a bug touches you the classic we got you from the game the bug stance and then back to the splash screen. Now the way I did the color palette here is the magnifier doubles the pixels but it adds an upper bit to the color in the color palette. So the colors on the magnifier are actually different colors than in the background. I use the same colors here but you can do things in the game like outside the magnifier the walls are invisible but you can see the walls inside the magnifier there's black and white outside the magnifier everything is black and white inside the magnifier you can see and then inside the magnifier the walls are invisible outside they're not Lots of interesting things you can do with a color palette. Show you what happens when you actually eat all the dots. It looks like this. Maze flashes. You get a little animation reward. and you start the next level. Now these mazes are generated at random and they're generated with a loopiness factor and that's how many loops there are in the maze. 
it starts out with a lot of loops and then every time you progress to the next level the loopiness decreases until after about eight levels there are very few loops mostly just dead ends makes the game very hard to play the code is all python there's some sound effect wave files and music that i took from youtube of people playing the original games here's a block diagram and this is my repo on github it has all the information it's really not much to it six of the panels the Hinner Zeller board that you get from Osh Park. And they, a little electronics work here. You have to populate this board yourself. But everything else, just wiring harness to the displays, USB sound card, USB speakers, a couple of USB game pads, and a honking power supply there. All the links for the parts at the top of the repo.